All new tonight, a big night for CMS. Mecklenburg County leaders voting to move the $2.5 billion school bond forward, letting voters decide in November whether to approve the plan. The goal is to fund 30 projects to build new schools and renovate existing buildings. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman is more on the bond and why some leaders think it's just too expensive. Charlotte Mecklenburg schools needs money to build new schools and renovate existing ones. The district is asking for $2.5 billion worth of projects paid for by taxpayers. It's about buildings and renovations and giving our kids a safe and healthy place to learn. The Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners voted Wednesday to allow voters to consider the ask. With the board's vote, the bond, which would go toward about 30 construction projects, will be on the ballot this November election. I think it's our responsibility to leave it to the voters. The last approved school bond in 2017 was for about $920 million. So this one being $2.5 billion, some say it shows how expensive it is to build schools now. Others think it's too high. And I was not in support of this because it is going to increase taxes. According to county projections, if the bond is approved, starting in 2025, property taxes would go up $38 a year for a house valued at $384,000. Then it would go up by $77 a year in 2028 and $115 from 2029 to 2031. Those increases don't include other possible tax hikes imposed by the city, county, or rising home values. I could support a billion dollars for the bonds um, all the way through, uh, but I've been consistent in terms of not voting uh, for the 2.5, and I'll be consistent tonight. Three commissioners voted against putting the bond on the ballot, saying there are ways to fund school projects without increasing taxes. Others say it's imperative to address overcrowded schools. If the bond fails this November, the district could try to get a new one passed in the 2024 election. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.